Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Insects in the City. I'm Sarah Layton and today we're wondering, when it comes to bed bugs, how important is it that we report a problem immediately? Now, many of us may shudder at thought of bed bugs, let alone having them in our homes. But what we know is that many problems do actually go unreported, especially in multifamily housing and affordable housing. And a study done by Rutgers University actually showed in a senior high-rise living facility that 70% of infestations that they found after further inspections were unreported by the tenants. Now, there are many reasons that people might not report a bed bug infestations and I am by no means giving you an exhaustive list of those reasons but what I want you to think about after this episode is just how to be more empathetic with your residents and their reasoning for maybe not reporting a bed bug infestation. One of those reasons is simply that they don't know they have bed bugs. We know that Bugs like to hide in the smallest of cracks and crevices and that many people don't react to their bites. So if you have a resident that only has a couple of bugs in their unit and they don't react to bed bug bites, they might literally not know that they have a problem until further more intense inspections are done or monitors are put down. Another reason people don't report infestations is the stigma of having bed bugs and what repercussions might come from reporting an infestation when they are in a multifamily unit or affordable housing living situation. Now, residents not reporting bed bugs is more than just them having bites and not reporting them and nobody knowing about it. What unreported infestations actually do is cause building wide infestations. We know that bed bugs move from unit to unit and we know that people may carry them on their person or on their personal belongings when they have infestations within their unit and then maybe travel to see their friends within your community or go into the common area. They could be spreading bed bugs throughout your community. But there are ways to get around this. One thing that you could do are proactive inspections. Go to all of the units within your community, perform short visual inspections, look for obvious live bugs, look for evidence of bugs such as fecal spotting and cast skins. In addition to visual inspections, you can go ahead and use monitors. What I have here are two different monitors. These are Sensei blackout monitors used for under the legs of beds, couches, and upholstered furniture. You can implement these as part of your treatment protocols and part of your inspections to catch bugs and they will find low level infestations within two weeks. This other monitoring device I have here is a Sensei volcano with an active lure inside of it and these can be placed next to the legs of beds, couches, and chairs, and also along floorboards to catch bugs that may be moving around in an environment. So even though you can't find that one or two bugs within an apartment, these monitoring devices will help you from two to four weeks find those low level infestations so that you are not contributing to building wide infestations and you're catching them earlier, which makes them not only easier to deal with, but also less expensive. Okay, so let's recap what we learned today about how important it is to not rely on resident reporting to find bed bug infestations within your buildings. First, we learned that Rutgers University showed us that 70% of infestations in a senior high-rise living facility went unreported and were only detected upon visual inspection. Now, there are many reasons why people might not report that they have bed bugs, and it could be as simple as they don't know they have them. If you only have a few bugs and you don't react to bites, then how are you supposed to know you have something to report? But it can also be as complex as fearing negative repercussions when you report bed bug infestations because there is such a stigma around bed bugs. 
If we're not relying on resident reporting, what we should be doing is either building wide visual inspections, looking for evidence and live bugs, but we can also implement monitoring. Under the leg and freestanding monitors are a great way to make sure you are catching building wide infestations before they can get out of hand and especially detecting those low level infestations that you are not finding upon visual inspection. Now, if you have any more questions about using monitors or inspections, please send me an email at sarah.layton at bedbugcentral.com and I can't wait to see you for the next episode of Insects in the City.